Well, good evening, gents. It's a rainy Saturday night here. More than a mile high in the beautiful Rocky Mountains of the U.S. of A. Got mountain ride here on your wing. Just played a match. Oops, sorry. Just played a match on the uh, Berlin map. Something happened that, uh, that kind of tickled my little funny bone. Thought I'd, thought I'd grab it for a video. Now, uh, anybody knows the history of this particular uh, set of words, the mountain ride, uh, there were a, a few I different uh, American aircraft that were named the mountain ride during World War II in different theaters, different aircraft. Uh, they all used the same uh, Vargas artwork. can't remember his first name, which is a uh, well, if you look at my uh, at my uh, forum profile, or anywhere I post on the forum, you'll you'll see the image. It's a picture of a girl kind of bent over backwards. Uh, yep. Well, actually, she's bent over frontwards on her shoulders. But the uh, most important part is what's up in the air for you. So. Uh, Chenault's uh, Flying Tigers. There was one there. I believe it was a... Uh, uh, the Twin Boom uh, P-38. Like that one you just saw right over there. Come on. Like that one right over there. And then... I had bought a jacket back in the 80s made by the Avero, that's the correct pronunciation, Avero Coke Company, which actually did have the contract, supplied uh, the A2 jackets to the Flyers, but it's kind of weird because the A2 jackets, uh, there's a bunch of different ones that all says this A2. From the leathers on down to the one I've got is a uh, is a low level flight A2 jacket and it's made out of um, poplin I guess you call it anyway it's khaki color with a leather collar and got the uh, map on the inside of it and the chit and supposedly those things had gold signed it um, sewn into the liners and all that and I had seen pictures where it it is an infamous uh, you know uh, piece of art nose art there it used to be a uh, museum down in Texas after World War II, uh, another little thing about Brown and Root USA Incorporated and arm of Halliburton Inc. They got the major scrap, aluminum scrap uh, contract for the United States of America after World War II. And they just sent them all their beat up birds and all that stuff and, and aircraft that they didn't want anymore or whatever. And they took them down to, to uh, Texas down there and started tearing them up. Well, some ingenious fella came along and said, well, what are you doing with all that artwork that people put on there? I mean, you know, that stuff has got history. And they said, well, we're just cutting it up and melting it. Oh, no, 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 no. You shouldn't be doing that. So the uh, powers that be actually decided to show sand 
and the uh, workers out there in that scrap yard uh, started cutting, just intentionally cutting the art, artwork off of the nose art and saving it. Then they uh, put together a museum and uh, showed it off for years. I do not know if it's still there. I guess I could try to Google it and search it. But anyway, years later, I was on a job somewhere in a building doing some, uh, you know, heating and air conditioning systems. And I had to go in this one guy's office, you know, and do some stuff. And I looked over and he had a coffee cup on display on his shelf. And it had the mountain ride on it, you know, so I started talking to him. Well, he had gotten it, that particular piece of... Uh, memorabilia because his great uncle or something like that had actually flown in the mountain ride out of uh, Libya I think it was it was uh, northern northern Africa anyway into the Italian and Pileski Pileski missions and it was a B-24 Liberator, which, if I'm not mistaken, is that monster right there. I think that's a B-24. Both of those. I may be wrong. So anyway. Uh, I picked that name for this... Uh, my handle here in War Thunder and that's also the uh, name of my uh, my daily driver I got a 81 El Camino that's a little tricked out and uh, it's also called, called the mountain ride but I shortened it it's M-N-T you know um, mount is uh, is uh, abbreviated so to my surprise, check out what happens in this recorded match, replay of this match. Unfortunately, I did not grab it live, so you can't see what happened in the chat, which I wish Wargame would change. But that's my opinion. And opinions in the anal orifices. You know what they say about that. Yeah, everybody's got one. Wait a minute, I've seen this before. Oh, wait a minute, this can't be the right one. Arr. Tell me I had the right one. That's the right one hooked. Now that's weird. I grabbed a replay last night or day before and it started out the exact same way with a uh, low tier German plane looks like a reserve circling while anti-aircraft shooting at it is this just a placeholder that's in every Berlin map how strange Yeah, let me see if I get my vehicle here. So I'm in the uh, American F-10, the Wolverine. I'm thinking this is like my third match in it. Can't wait to get the, what is it, 170 kills so I can get the top paint job on it. I like Camel. That other game. At least Camel does something for you. Guess this does something for you in uh, real battles and simulator battles. I I don't play it enough yet. Uh, I'm not comfortable with it. Don't have enough experience playing this game. I can just barely do arcade, and some would dispute that. So my thought was, initially, 
Now I'm going to see. I looked over and saw my uh, saw the individual of the game paired me up for being a squad. Went straight at B in the center. I wasn't going to do that in this un non-upgraded vehicle. So I thought I'd pull up here to the scene, get some help. Well, this turret moves so slow. Right through his, uh, his, the knob for his gun. Of course, I didn't kill him. Somebody else did. Now, that was a beautiful hit. You don't see it in the replay, but I killed three quarters of his clue. And that second shot took the last one out. So look at what's over there to the left. Look at his name. Can you read it? Same thing, only. Oh, wow, he disappeared. But just, uh. <laughs> He's got his capital set up differently. Now I wonder if he's been playing longer than I have. Because when I typed in my name, it didn't, it didn't give me any uh, any problems about uh, no, this name's already taken. So I went back and started typing up a whole bunch of stuff to him. Hey! I killed myself! And tried to tell him... Uh, yeah, let's start a, a squadron, to, you know, all mountain rides, blah, 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 blah. I, he didn't answer me back. <laughs> After the match, I'm going to have to check up his, uh, his tail of the tape. So I called all it. No, I'm still typing. I waited till I got closer to make sure I wasn't uh, wasn't calling in heat right on our own people. So then there's up now. Some character started typing in ta chat in all caps. Blah blah this. Go over here. Go over there. Do this. Do that. You know. Thank you, General. I'm not going to follow what you're saying. So I finally had to type back at him. Would you please, would you stop hollering at me? And then a bunch of other people type back in. Oh, wow, yeah, you know, blah, 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 blah. Shut the fuck up. He finally took off his caps after that. So. I'm seeing we got guys on the cap, but now it's going to, going to them. We were taking it over. What what the heck? Well, we're gonna head on in over here where I can get some rounds. It's like, hmm, there's already coming in there. Them guys right there, I'm gonna come around the flank. And somebody almost hit me. Good thing I hit that little bit of mud. And then hit right behind me. So it's like, okay, what am I going to do here? All right, let's go over here. Get around behind this character here. Why isn't he shooting at the guys in cap? Hit one, which was Mountain Riot again. Yeah, I shouldn't have turned to look at him. Because when Comrade Spammy got his shot off, or wherever these cats here, it hit me. It locked my, uh, locked my turret over one shit I could do. Yeah, there it is. Oh, yeah, caught me on fire, too. Anyway, well, no, I guess he drove up alongside of me and shot me inside. What nothing I can do. Happens a lot in this game. So, this pisses me off right here. I tried to type something in. Normally you hit enter, then it opens up the field. 
actually was after I got killed and unfortunately the game had given me those uh, extra tanks that you can draw on that normally cost was 10 gold or whatever that I did not want and so bigger and shit by hitting the uh, enter it picked that tank and picked that uh, extra vehicle so I just threw away 10 gold so I did good right there went around the side of the uh, where the Artie was gonna land I try to get up here where I can do some good. That T-34 is a hell of a blare. Right through the windows. I couldn't see him. And look at that angle that that penetrated at. Not what I'm used to at all. So I'm mad because I knew I burnt that 10 gold and just decided well flog it let's get the hell out of here okay let's check out this character mountain ride what's this huh I didn't know that. Doesn't allow you to just look at their uh, look at their deal. Oh well. That yeah, was a little giggle for me. Yeah, I'll take care out there.